I love the bartenders, I love the staff, and their pizza is the die for. I love their pizza, and I actually put it on mine that it's the best pizza in the valley. I eat here only four days a week. Only four? Yeah. <laughs> hey everybody, Frank Sapsky here from the Pizza Got Bones. I review the pizza, the place, and the personality. And remember, all my reviews are of a fresh pies, never anything out of the box. Tonight, back by unpopular demand, we have Brendan Ballgame Hayes with us. We're here in Derby, Connecticut, which is about 10 miles outside of the pizza capital of the world, New Haven, Connecticut, at a place called Retro. Gary, the owner, opened up this joint in 2019, and he's been going strong ever since. This place, I heard, is a hidden gem, and I had to come check it out. Stay tuned, because I think you're going to like what we got for you. Traditionally, where you define a crust, I flattened the whole piece up. Like a pancake. Because I don't really want anything to rise on the edges. I want the sauce and cheese to go, you know, just just to the edge. Because this is going to be what you what you you know taste the dough. You'll see it's going to be like a wafer. If it was a little bit smaller. You could use it for a church. Uh, yeah, why would that do or not? Yes. We're down here, at Derby, Connecticut, retro. We got four pies here, and the smells coming off these dogs are fantastic. Uh, we're gonna have Brendan tell you what we got here. Tell him what we got, sir. All right, we got the cheeseburger pizza, AKA the Big Mac pizza, some people's standards. <laughs> um, we got a little red onion, some chopped pickles, some nice fresh crisp lettuce, little tomatoes. We got our nice seasoned ground beef, a little cheese. It's a great pie right here. This terrific bad boy ah, right here. Ah, duh, come on, man. You wanna enter this one? No, you do it, but you're not getting any. That's my pie. Yeah, that's what he keeps saying, but we're gonna be fighting him. <laughs> we got our stuffed shrimp on a pizza. So what he's got, he's got some great seasoned breadcrumbs, nice little butter sauce, little scamotes. We got our nice juicy uh, 1620 shrimps on there. It's a, it's, a, it's a great pizza. It's one of the best ones he does here. Put them on the map. Come on now. Send it. And then um, traditional cherry pepper pepperoni. Big seller here for Gear. A little grande mozzarella cheese, homemade sauce, a little nice char on there. Beautiful. What we got over here? Fresh scamotes pie there. We got scamotes or moots? What do we moose. got? It's moots. In Bridgeport they call it scamotes. Over here we call it moots. It's grande mozzarella cheese, a little sauce. Okay. Nice, nice. Why don't you try the first slice? All right, we'll go right We're gonna go with the, the, uh, uh, the cheeseburger, AKA Big yep. Mac. Oh, that thing's standing up nice. Come on, man, look at that. The under gear. Oh, forget it. We should do a, we should do a cheer, a little salute with that. <laughs> that's a good right. Ashbad, Ashbad. Pinky up, up for this pizza? Or oh, what? yeah, 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 come on. Oh, yeah. That works. I gotta remember to come up for air. Remember what you said last night? Don't choke <laughs> on it, man. Don't choke on it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I get that a lot. I get that at home. Let me check out one of these dogs, man. I've been thinking about this all day. Because people that have been following me know that I'm a big stuffed shrimp fan. And uh, this does not seem to, like it's gonna disappoint. Look what we got under here. He only mentioned it 11 times to me about how excited you fish up. This makes 12. There we go. <laughs> the flow. Ah. This is like a three-letter word I can't use on video, but you know what it is. Almost better than that. Um, There's an aroma coming off there that's a special pie right The there. stuffing has an incredible buttery rich taste with the fresh shrimp, mozzarella. Pie's cooked to perfection. Fantastic. Awesome. We went down to the cherry pepper. Pepperoni. Yeah, you stay on that. I'm gonna get into this. Look at this. This thing looks like it's ready to rock. A nice little fold there. Cooked oh. perfectly on the bottom. Look at that. Ooh. Slight little flop from the easy cherry now. peppers. Easy, easy. Oh yeah. When you use a good cheese and good sauce, it sticks like glue. See, that's one of the keys to A lot of these pizza guys, they don't mean to do it. Buy the cheap stuff you get what you pay for, it falls all over the place. This is perfect. Yep. So, 
What are you thinking? Is this our beach? Is this pizza? What, what we got? You know, it's funny because we have, we, we were breaking stones with Gary. We said, look, I guess people say it's a bar fight. It kind of is a bar fight. Right? I mean, look at it. It's like it's a bar beats. It's beats combo. It's yeah. like a bar beats. It's a mesh. It's like this. They're going yeah. in. You know? Yep. It is. You definitely could use the A word. <laughs> <laughs> our beats, right. our beats is definitely in your name here, Gary. All right, guys, last slice. Traditional mozzarella. Nice little char, well done on the bottom. Leoparding. I call it my 9 o'clock p.m. pizza. I love nothing more than eating one of those at 9 o'clock at home while I'm watching the game. This is pretty much signature, man. Yeah. You nail this pie, you got the whole thing. Mm. Yeah. I know I say this a lot, but it's kind of like you're down in Worcester Street. You know? It's a great place to be and a great place to say about a pizza, that's for sure. Derby, Connecticut. You want to say the Mecca, only what, 10 miles from there? Yeah, about 10. The sauce is interesting. You know, it's it's really sweet and I like it. And it's got a lot, some salt to it. That grande mooch kills it. The crust is super crunchy. Um, you know, it's killer. Well, I've known Gary for about 25 years or so. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> You're not the only one. But what had happened was we were flipping houses a few years, several years ago, and it really didn't work out. And Gary had suggested that because it's been in his family. His father owned the Palatanos in the Ansonia Derby for years and years and years. So Gary said, well, let's try a restaurant. Johnny Z, your friendly neighborhood undertaker. Actually, I was the first guest Gabon, the Pizza Gabons, at Roma Pizza, if you go way back. First, Gary, thank you very much for having us here. Thank you for coming. This, without question, has to be one of the prides of Derby. Uh, again, the pizza was phenomenal. I've never, A, heard of you, and B, ever been on the street in my life. But I promise you that it won't be my last time. First question is, how'd you come up with the name Retro? I wanted to get an old town tavern feel. Um, that, that was my thing. I, I always watch diners drive into dives. I wanted to do a dive. This place is a lot bigger than a dive. Um, but this place became available, and I loved the layout. I loved the brick. I, I just had to come in here. And, and name it something that reminded me of the valley. Um, You're and, a valley guy, right? Yes, I am. I grew up on the east side of Derby. So that, no, that's west side. East side. Is that the good side or the bad side? <laughs> uh, it depends on who you ask. So you told me, and this intrigues me, and I think it would be cool for people to know, um, you've had a lot of lives. So oh, yeah. before this restaurant, you used to make cement shoes. You have to do a concrete business. You used to be a correction officer. Yes. And what was the other? Uh, Stand-up comedian. Stand-up comedian. So you've been literally. Well, and an actor too. I've been in like seven different movies. You can find that on, uh, you know, yeah, on Amazon, IMDb. Can you dance, act, and sing? You do all three? I don't dance. So obviously, you know, a comedian, a contractor, and um, a corrections officer. You know, those aren't really food related. So you obviously have food in your blood. Where did that come from? Cooking was always a hobby for me, and I loved doing different recipes and trying out different things. And even though you know, my father had a pizza restaurant, these pizzas are nothing like, just the cheese is you know, the same. The crust is different. I went through different recipes with the crust. I went through different recipes with the sauce until I found out what everybody loved, and that's what I stuck with. But these are home runs. I mean, obviously, whatever, whatever work you've done definitely has paid off, um, without question. Back in the day, when you were growing up, what was your favorite spot in Derby? To be honest, my, my mother or my aunt or my grandmother always made the, the pizza home. It's one organization that I try to help the most, and I hope I don't choke up talking about this, but um, there's an organization out of Seymour called Seymour Pink, and we do a lot of work with them to help them raise money here. You know, we do dinners here, you know, uh, we do bingo here, uh, bingo for boobies, it knows what we call it. Um, and what bingos they goes for boobies? They goes for boobies. <laughs> because uh, I love it. Trying to out. This is more of a, you know, a breast cancer awareness. We do a lot with, with different hospitals, breast cancer awareness, which is part of Yale. Um, uh, what what they do is they find or people contact them um, because there's people that can't afford 
you know, when they're going through treatments, they can't afford to pay their rent, they can't afford to pay their uh, electric bill and stuff like that. Seymour Pink helps families in, you know, in need like that. It's phenomenal. Um, and, and, and they're a great, great organization. Mary Deming, who's the, uh, who's the founder, and her husband, uh, Bruce, they're both teachers at Seymour High School. You know, you know, they're retired now. Um, and, and Mary is just a wonderful person and she looks to help as many people as she possibly can and she's just, I can't say enough about her. She's like a second mother to me. And, and helping them is almost like helping my own mother. Everybody come down and visit Gary and Fred's Row. Well, it's a fa fabulous place, fabulous food. Hidden gem of the valley right here, Retro. Pizza is really, really good. Um, stuffed shrimp out of this world. Everything's out of this world, but everyone knows I love the stuffed shrimp. Come check it out.